Uh, well, business is coming to one of its spiritual homes, the city of Leeds. Uh, we're in the Pack Horse Pub, which is a fantastic place. Look at it, it's got actual curtains, like curtains like normal houses have curtains. I don't know why that excites me as much as it does, but it does. This is going to be good. I really honestly feel this is going to be uh, the nicest one. Spins and everything. <laughs> I think it's um, the variety of acts we know. We know everyone on the bill. Do you have a stand for that? No, he, he wraps it around himself. Oh, okay. Urban, I like it. Yeah, that's the reaction that used to get. So you can still hear me over the top of it. Um, we've got people who have done business before, they're veterans. Uh, we've got some really bizarre acts in terms of characters and music and uh, our headline's probably the strongest we're going to get on this tour. Well, I'm, I'm expecting like the numbers, of, the numbers of York and the energy of Edinburgh combined into just overall excitement. Business! Please on the stage host the cover, Mr Tim McConnell! Not sure if this is going to work audibly, but can you just believe for me? Okay, he's believing. And that's starting off an applause. And I'm bringing on my first act, Mr. Kieran Majoria. Hello, hello, welcome to business. My name is Kieran, I'm your next act for this evening. Um, I'm also a student studying at university. You guys are a bit close, you can probably tell from the colour of my skin that I study medicine. <laughs> My parents are very proud, very proud, and by proud I mean pushy. There's, there's some words in rap music which is widely accepted, you're not allowed to say. Um, there's one word actually, you're not allowed to say unless you're of Afro-Caribbean descent. Obviously I, I'm not going to be saying this word out of, out of politeness, instead I'll be replacing it with the word Nigel. Um, <laughs> the song reads, Nigel, 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 Nigel. I'm 100% Nigel. <laughs> <coughs> Nigel, 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 Nigel. Nigel, Nigel, Nigel. I'm 200% Nigel. <laughs> Nigel, 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 Nigel. Nigel, Nigel, Nigel. Why do the police hate Nigels? <laughs> Nigel, 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 Nigel. Nigel, Nigel, Nigel. They hate us because our dicks are bigger. <laughs> and yes! Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jake Donaldson. Hello. Hello. You all well? Business. Good business. Business, yes. Uh, it's lovely to be here. Um, I, I, uh, I'm in business. Uh, I, I'm illustrating a series of uh, children's books to help young Muslims learn about their religion. Business. It's not very good. Uh, we can't draw profit. <laughs> Like, um, uh, I like this. This isn't the weirdest gig I've ever done, right? I, I know we had one person eating pizza in the background. I did a gig at the Edinburgh Fringe, uh, and there was one man sat on the front row. He was the only one there. That's how well I was doing. Uh, uh, and he, he was eating boil-in-the-bag rice out of a bag, right? <laughs> It's the weirdest heckle ever, right? It's really strange. And then I found out later on that the venue had supplied him the kettle to do the boil. <laughs> right? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Stanley Brooks. Uh, we'll come over here to uh, this guy, Jono. What's your name, sir? Sorry? Gino. Gino. Pleased to meet you, Gino. Pleased to meet you. Now, Gino, can I interest you in expanding your horizons? No homo. Yeah, let's, do <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. Fantastic, Gino. Now, Gino, when you were growing up, did you ever look up to the sky and think, one day, I want to be a cloud? Yeah. Yeah. We've got to get that out of you, Gino. This is a blue sky thinking process in here, okay? <laughs> So the first challenge couldn't be simpler, okay? I want you to come up with a brand new colour, okay? Something completely new. And I'm going to give you guys five, four, three. I'm bored. So, <laughs> Stephanie, what is the name of your new colour? Mope. Mope. <laughs> right. See, that sounds to me like the most depressing colour in the fucking world, okay? That's just what teenagers do. And you've decided to visualise that. If I invite someone around my house and I say, I've painted the kitchen mope, have I improved the kitchen? So, um, ladies and gentlemen, I want to leave you with a, a few thoughts uh, that I've had over the years, thoughts that, that keep me going, okay? 
So uh, a good one, for example, is in business, you just have to remember one thing. Make sure it's really, really good. <laughs> okay? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Mr. Bennett Kavanagh. Uh, this next song uh, is a song about Amazon.com. If you don't like Amazon.com, you won't like this song about Amazon.com. It's a song called Amazon.com. <laughs> and settled on Amazon because, in his words, he found the word exotic and different. I mean, that's all very well, but you were looking through a dictionary and didn't get past A. I mean, there's a whole world of exotic and different words after A, including the words exotic and different. I would call you lazy, but I doubt you would have gotten that far in the alphabet. But I'll just call you apathetic. a smartphone which they call the fire phone which as a name for a phone is shit <laughs> that's like calling it a earth tv or a wind book or a tree clock or an iron shoe or a wool pen or a moleskin laptop or a lava lamp <laughs> it's, 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 why why are they going into a market that is already incredibly saturated I mean, it's a travesty that if you want to buy a smartphone, you can literally choose between hundreds of varieties of smartphone. But when you want to buy a chocolates for a party, you can only choose between two types of Rocky. I mean, I haven't checked, but it's Amazon. Tax evading Amazon. It's true. Amazon have a history of terrible names for their products, including the um, online grocery service they called Amazon Fresh, which just sounds like a failing Polish tampon brand. Or the online encyclopedia service they called Amapedia. Ooh, Amapedia. Ooh, really? Amapedia? I'm not making this up. Amapedia. Literally, they sat there and just, like, no one thought, oh, if we say this too quickly, we'll just have a massive PR problem on our hands. Amapedia. Really? How did the boardroom full of overpaid executives each just sit around and say, oh, yeah, I'm happy to say Amapedia. Yeah, I'm happy to declare Amapedia. And no one battered an eyelid. <laughs> I guess they were just looking for something exotic and different. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Welcome to the stage. It's Caitlin Powell. It's like people in it who go on gap years. Oh, those people, they go off to Southeast Asia and they meet people who have nothing. And they see the very extremities of human existence. And on the final night, they stand on a beach at the edge of the ocean, the waves lapping at their feet. And they look out into the distance. And they think, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to study marketing. <laughs> it's my purpose. I'm going to do whatever the hell it is people in marketing do. And they come back, and this one experience has become their entire personality. You know, they're going, oh, I've changed. I've changed. I saw a toilet to build a snake. It was amazing. Oh, I've changed. And you can say to them, Rupert, because that's their name. <laughs> Rupert, you haven't changed. You've bought a sarong. <laughs> All right, please, welcome to the stage, Jimmy Spandex. <laughs> So, what I'm going to do is going to do a little game show for you. You up for that? Is that good business? Good yes. business! Excellent. Uh, what is the common name for Japanese horseradish? Uh, no, I'm afraid the answer is there isn't one because who the fuck buys Japanese horseradish? Okay, Tim, back to you. Gentlemen, Silky. Oh. 
I've lost count of the number of times when his mind wasn't on the job. It seems that health and safety rules, well, they are not for Bob. He'd be smoking at the petrol pump or pulling faces on a rainy day or running with scissors. That's what I saw him do. I lost count of the number of times when I said, hey, Bob, focus. You need to keep the forefront of your brain around what you're doing. You are working in an industry that is not the safest business you could be. But ever since he was a little bit remiss with the chainsaw, ever since he took his eye right off the ball, Bob's got a new silhouette now. Bob's got Bob's got a new silhouette now. Bob's got Bob's got a new silhouette. Ah! When the personal injury lawyer said, "Have you been injured in a fall or accident at work?" He said, "Yes, I have." But they said, "I'm afraid from your case history." You haven't got a leg to stand on, haven't got a, haven't got a leg to stand on, haven't got a, haven't got a leg to stand on, haven't got a leg to stand on. It's easy to tell young Bob from me on account of the asymmetry. Cause Bob's got a new silhouette, Bob's got a new, Bob's got a new silhouette, Bob's got a new, Bob's got a new silhouette. Now Bob's, Bob's got a new silhouette and I was taking the piss with his other workmates when we heard the sound from the teak plantation. Ah! Bob's evened himself up. Bob's evened himself up. He's symmetrical again, but at what cost? Fucking hell! Bob's evened himself up. He's got a brand new silhouette and he is sat there on his skateboard. We pull him around like a torso. Hey, Bob, have you lost weight? Fuck off! Bob's got a new silhouette, Bob's got a new, Bob's got a new silhouette now, Bob's a Bob's got a new silhouette, Bob's got a Bob's got a brand new silhouette. He was waving one day from the higher branches when something fell out of the tree. Fucking hell, Bob! How do you cut your own arm off with a chainsaw when your legs are gone? How do you cut your own arm off with a chainsaw? It's easy to tell Bob, Bob from me when we're just in outline. It's back to the asymmetry. Bob's got a new silhouette, Bob's got a new, Bob's got a brand new silhouette, Bob. Now the thing I don't understand about this is how he did it twice with the top limbs. How he did it twice to his legs. He did it twice with the top limbs. When you've got one arm left, how do you cut that fucker off with the same chainsaw? Seriously, Bob's got a brand new silhouette. Bob's got Bob's got a brand new silhouette. Bob's Bob sleeps in a hot water bottle cover now. <laughs> uh, I wrote that line this afternoon. I wanted to know how it would go, so thank you. You've been very kind, everyone. Bob's got a new silhouette. Bob's got a new Bob's got a new silhouette. Bob's got a new Bob's got a new silhouette. Bob's got a new Bob's got a new silhouette now. Bob's got a new silhouette now, Bob's got a Bob's got a new silhouette now. Keep your eye on the ball, if only to see where the bastard lands. Ooh, that's why we call him Asymmetrical Bob. I've been silky, this has been lovely business, thank you so much. I enjoyed that gig so much. Uh, I think that was my favourite show. Uh, of, of, of last year, of, of, of this tour, that was incredible. Yeah. There, there, was, there was a moment in it where, there were, there were several moments where I, I, I stopped looking at the time, I stopped looking at the doors, stopped looking at the acts, making sure they're okay. I wasn't a producer, I was just the audience, and I was fucking loving it. That's what we went on tour to do, that show. Yeah. That, that's, that's what we went on tour to do, and I'm very glad to that's it.